One of the judges at state, he said he only had two minutes. So he said, okay, two minutes, go. And I had to tell him my entire poster in two minutes, but let's, I let's made hear it. it. Let's hear it, two minutes, go. Okay, well my poster is about making ball lightning in the laboratory. So ball lightning is a very rare phenomenon that is sometimes a ball, sometimes different shapes. I was able to go to Germany and see the scientists who were making ball lightning in their laboratory. And from the moment I got their setup, it's a very simple setup with just two capacitors, a high voltage charging supply and a bucket filled with water. And I would charge the capacitors to 4,000 volts and shoot the electricity into this wire. The wire comes, the electricity comes out of this wire into the water and it makes an arc as you can see here. I have my little spider legs pictures. From there, it comes up into a mushroom cloud then it's a ball with a stalk and the stalk detaches. I tried different sorts of salts with my water and I had um, sodium chlor or I had CuCl4, CuCl2, I had um, lithium spray and the different salt in the water changes the color of the ball. Also if you spray a salt across the ball, like here I sprayed lithium, it does change the color so I knew that the salt was affecting the characteristics of the ball. I was looking at my um, ball with a photodiode and from that I was able to get the um, velocity of the ball. It rises about 0.8 seconds or 0.8 meters per second and also I looked at it with a spectrometer and I was able to get very interesting spectra from my ball. I knew that the salt indeed did affect it and I um, possible application of this is I noticed that my two biggest lines when I was working with copper in the salt, it was a 510 line and a 578 um, nanometer line, and I know that those are copper vapor laser lines. So I had an idea that if I got two mirrors, I would be able to float the ball up through the mirrors and make a laser. And that's my project. <laughs> in two minutes. <laughs> yes.